Hi, y'all. I'm Jacqueline, alongside my buddy, Mr. Mark Ellis. And we are here, and we are blessed, dare I say gifted, with the cast of Fox's The Gifted. Nice. Thank y'all so much for being here. Yeah, glad to be here. OK, so you guys were at our lounge last year. So I know pretty much everyone here, this is this is no, you're not your first rodeo. You guys are Hall H, like, experts, Comic-Con experts, right? We love Rotten Tomatoes. And you love Rotten Tomatoes. We love you guys. Still fresh on our tomato meter for season one. Can't Hell wait yeah. to yeah. see season two. Also, we just had a new article where we talked about best comic book TV shows. There was a little show called The Gifted on that as well. Awesome. Yeah. It was 150 shows. <laughs> no, no, it was every show possible. You guys did, did very well. Any any Comic Con tips for anybody that you would you would pass out? I feel like Steven, you you would have a few. Smile and wave. So, <laughs> smile and wave. Smile and wave, boys. Don't bite everyone that asks you to bite them. What? Yes. They always How ask Vampire Bill to bite. Oh, them. Yeah, they do. I, I do. Yeah. yeah. I, I you know. Some people use mouthwash. Mouthwash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once a day it's they just ask like you to bite the men's them. Bathroom. What? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody else got a tip? I would say don't wear heels, but I think that we're. But they're so pretty. I know, they make your legs look great, but they really are not. I'd say practical. I'd say safety in numbers. Go with the gang. It's quite good when there's twelve of, uh, of us. You know, it's quite yeah. fun. Okay, I'd say something legitimate. Like, don't be afraid to go meet your hero, and you know. <laughs> I'll be standing there. on the radio. Oh I'll be so right here. No, I don't think they're tips for us. I think they're tips for people okay. attending. Oh, whatever. Oh, well, if that's the case, then like Natalie and I that's definitely have some success with that <laughs> last night. Oh we won in Fangirl, the cast of Riverdale, which I'm personally <laughs> proud of. Oh my god. So don't be afraid to fangirl or boy or fan person. However, the term. Suits However, you identify fan. as a fan. fan yeah. I will say yeah. this. I will say this. That that uh, after I think this is my 11th straight Comic Con, and I and. I, I used to be a little bit freaked out by all the kind of crazy. Now I just love the crazy. And they love mm. it when you are part of it. So just, just be it, right? and, and enjoy. Embrace the crazy. Yeah. With that in mind, Mr. Mark Ellis is definitely the crazy. So Lovely really segue. Kick us yeah, off. no, that's like that's great practical advice. And it's also great, like, go for your dreams. Meet your heroes, but also use a lot of hand sanitizer just in <laughs> case. Um, I, my first question, because I'm newer to the show, The Gifted, but I caught up on it, and it was fantastic. I was so enthralled the entire season, and now I'm thinking about season two. And Steven, with your character, he didn't have any powers necessarily that we saw in season one. I, you must be inundated with all these fan theories about what could be happening in season two. Have any of those stuck out to you? Can you give us any tease? He, he had the X-Gene halted in him by his father when he was about 15. His father was a, was a scientist chemist who was able to unlock his sort of genetic code and stop it. And our son goes, goes uh, with the inner circle and they disappear and we're in search of them. And it, it would stand to reason that he might have sort of privately been trying to unhalt the process. I mean, well, what kind of powers do you want then? What do you want to do? I can't do it. I would love to do something right now, but I can't do it. I'd love to make a joke too. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You can flip a pancake real well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like three times. That's talented. Yeah. All right. I mean. <laughs> well, Natalie, your character, I feel like you and your brother were doing a great sort of Professor X Magneto impersonation through season one. Can you talk to me about whether you guys discussed if you were like kind of keeping that sort of like lineage going for the X Men series? Definitely. I think that um, it's cool because we're. I think some, um, unless we're talking about the triplets, were related. Um, yeah. And I think yeah. that if you go back into the comics, the Struckers were real characters and they have this dark side to them. Um, the real Struckers were very awful people. Yes, yes. Um, so yeah, I think that we, we have a great connection on set and like I love Percy, but we definitely were talking about what that means for our characters, what being twins, or we're not twins, but being siblings means. But I mean, his character obviously is darker than mine. Mine is on the good side, but there's a middle ground and we do have this darkness inside of us. So I think season two is all about really seeing exactly what that means and then trying to stay original to who you are, but denying the inner deep thoughts. <laughs> well, I did say you get an upgrade on his hair. I love yeah, his I know, hair love in his season hair. two. I'm trying to be like me. I'm saying it. I'm <laughs> like going to go ahead and say oh, that. Oh, I thought it was like a triplet. I guess he just wanted to be blonde. Well, he, like, yeah. he, he said he liked my blonde a lot last season. 
So I'm pretty sure yeah. that he's trying to steal my luck. He, yeah. honestly, yeah. he honestly could have just done it <laughs> out of the show and then they just had to put it in. No, that, <laughs> that, 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 that would have been an look really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's really happened happened you guys know, Percy like went and re like he was in Canada, yeah. decided to go do it, and they're like, oh, perfect, that works. Oh, really? Yeah. So they just so added it to the character. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you make your own little look. I love and that. And I like that. It's very man, he suits it. He was going to shave his head. He looks great. Yeah. Well, Sean, I guess... Congratulations, Daddy, are in order. I don't. Yeah, quest, congratulations. Quest, nah, so talk about that. I mean, your character's gonna be a father in season two, but maybe not the way he intended. So well, well, biologically, it, 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 sure. Yeah. yeah, I think I think to all of the sense, that is that is the that is the ex, the extent of his father his father's fatherly situation. It's heartbreaking, really, because he uh, his family is taken away from him, and 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 taken away from him by the person that he loves. Uh, and and by a world and an ideology that differs from his and, it, and 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 he's tried so hard to hold everything together and I guess you could say failed quite miserably at it yeah. even though he was noble in his efforts um, I'm really glad that it's happening just from a performance standpoint um, you get to see what happens with him back in Colombia with his father uh, you meet some of his backstory and you find out why he's so hell-bent on doing things differently when his child becomes uh, of, uh, of importance um, but there's so there's something really awesome that happens in the first few episodes where they're so close. They've been tracking down the inner circle for so long. They're so close. But Polaris is about to go into labor with a beautiful baby bump, and 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 he just actually never thought that he wouldn't be there. Mm. And it's becoming very real that he might not uh, be there for it, be there to to know what gender it is, to name it. Um, so it's a huge, horrible bit of pill to swallow, and 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 and, and, I'm, and you can expect him not to swallow it. He's going to do anything he can. Wow. And it's really interesting what the dynamic is going to be between Sean and Blair in uh, season two, because if you're looking at who has control of the underground, and who the leader is, there is you you lose the Polaris factor. So what's that dynamic going to be like, Blair? Very good. Well, it's still very homoerotic. <laughs> That's, that's just the natural that's, chemistry. That's though, just, that, that, that ship is hard. That by is the way. just. They, oh, they well, love yeah, that we some. set it up ourselves. Yeah. We're yeah. the yeah. fan club members. It wasn't an accident. <laughs> no, I mean it's true. I, I guess you know they've. I think they they do a good job complementing each other. Um, they are bring, brothers in arms in that yeah. sense. Yes. They, I think they rely on each other to handle different uh, parts of of leading the group. Um, obviously, there's been some issues because we. Because I'm emotional. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, that of course. Uh, but yeah, they balance each other out. Uh, you know, and you, you'll see a lot of that in the new season. You know, they both mm. step up and take a leadership role. Absolutely. Um, I think they. I think they have to. I think yeah. they have to. And I think it's by, just because they're forced into that position. But Thunderbird has always, by definition, been a leader. Whether it was through his military background or or uh, or, or his role in the underground. And, but he takes a hit, doesn't he? It takes a hit with what happens. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. And, it's it's hard on him. He he, he, he definitely has, has a you know these moments where he feels like he's done a disservice to the underground. You know that that was that was his post mm. to hold, and and he lost it. And so. he has Reed to lean on, and and Natalie's character, Lauren to lean on. Everyone, we we, we really actually have a lot of really nice dynamics now. Everybody has some kind of Achilles playing within their psychological sort of up. You know, breakdown that 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 is that, that everybody else might not be aware of, which okay. is interesting. But in this division, there's a unit like we all get to play. We've, we're all doing a lot more scenes with people we didn't do that many scenes with last year. We'd fight a lot more dynamics. More yeah. episodes too. Let's go. Yeah. Yes. yes. Get going. Speaking of the dynamic of the underground, I have to say, this lady down there at the end, Miss yes. Miss Emma. I'm sorry, you broke my heart in the last oh. episode. You really did. Yeah. And can we just say it runs in the family? Like, I just feel like the minute- They get killing? Yeah. I mean, I just, <laughs> <laughs> it does. It runs just, but let's talk about the baby and the birth, because if I, my research is correct, and we're big research nerds, you're the first mutant birth we're ever going to get to see on camera. Yeah, in any media. Uh, Whoop, whoop. Form, yeah. we, get a so we made a baby. We made a baby. <laughs> and it's like, we never even held hands in the show. We never touched. <laughs> we never touched. Um, yeah, it would be the first mutant birth we will ever see. Um, and that's very exciting. And it's it's really an honor to be a part of that. Um, you know, the baby's a big deal for Polaris because she, along with uh, Marcos, have so, for lack of a better term, they have daddy issues. Yeah. So, you know, having their own child for them is, is really shocking and drying and changes their whole perspective on the world. Mm -hmm. So, just real quick though, is there going to be some power danger in that whole birthing process? Yeah. 
Okay. Yes. Can you tell us a <laughs> so little bit? Yes. 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 No, yes. No, no, yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. It very much sounded. I was there, like a real birth. It is like crazy. I actually think a mutant birth probably is what most pregnant women feel like. <laughs> like they are just out of control, gonna tear someone's head off and like burn a city down, which is I like. I, Ooh, I saw pretty, some footage you know. and it actually almost made me happy I didn't see the birth. It was, okay. It's pretty real. <laughs> I was, I was like, Marcos might have been okay with not <laughs> being there. He would have been because his hand would have broken off. It was painful. Yeah, I think we can agree, <laughs> with guys. With a 30-pound baby a, bump on my diaphragm. Yeah. I mean, it mutant could be a mutant human. birth, it could be a normal birth. You, you're not going to want to be in there if you're a guy <laughs> most of the that. time. <laughs> uh, also, she's going to look at me and go, why did you do this to me? <laughs> and she's incredibly powerful. Yes. Give me more drugs. Yeah. Skylar, I wanted to ask you, because you point out one, two, three characters on the show. So what is that? What's the logistics behind preparing for roles like? Do you watch a lot of Eddie Murphy movies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's great. That's, that's the best awesome. question I've ever been That's so, so great. Of my life. You're doing your own Quumps impression, and it's very <laughs> impressive. Well, thank you. I, I, I do think of myself as a young Eddie Murphy. <laughs> no, we all we've all said that day one. We I did. get it every day. <laughs> we did. Uh, playing three people has definitely been, um, it's a different creative process. It's very technical. Um, uh, and so I think it's the first job where I've really had to marry the technicality into the creativity because it's easy to sort of let one overpower the other. I have two amazing girls, Amber and Rebecca, who dress up with me as my body doubles, and they we all wear little blonde wigs um, and dress up the same, and exactly they help the read uh, the horrifying. other sisters' lines. So we'll sort of it's like musical chairs, but people. Um, so we'll just do like one rolling take, and I'll pop in and out between the girls. Uh, this it's year, amazing how well this year they are very. Thank it's you. It's so good, dude. It's They're great. very different. They're, the triplets are quite distinguished this year, and as the season moves forward, we actually see a bit of a physical and emotional differentiation between them. Um, they get to have some scenes alone, so we get to explore the inner dynamic. Mm. And you know, maybe three is not our final count. They're frosts. I was going to ask, can we get more than three? Can we get to five? Can we get to ten? Can we get to double figures? I can't tell you the oh, number, but I can tell hall. you oh, it doesn't cool stay hall. at three. And thank God for their patience, because it's not quick being everywhere in one. This is turning into multiplicity, and I'm so here for it's it. It's really I'm been so, so fun. It. Um, everyone, really quickly, because obviously TV shows, comic books, that's all comic, like Comic-Con is about. What's your favorite comic book television show? Just everyone down the list real quick. Natalie. Comic the book television. Yeah. Oh no, well, Jessica Jones. Besides Jessica Jones. the gifted, Jessica Jones. I think that's Jessica Punisher. Jones. I mean, that's a, Punisher. I mean, that's like I love that super I, badass. John I Barenthal love that young. show. Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna stand by it. I love Riverdale. I have the viewing habits of a 13 year old girl. <laughs> I like heart the Jughead, Marvel only. Archie. I love it all. Mm -hmm. I love them. Sean? Uh, actually, I'm I'm pretty bad at, at watching shows in that capacity. I, I, I'm actually quite bad at finishing shows in general. I probably have more ADD than sense, but uh, but The Punisher... You I, nobody I, argued that? <laughs> <laughs> I actually... I, look, I did I hear noise. Like, oh, it, no. the, the sound of heads nodding. <laughs> I got. Um, I, uh, but The Punisher I did watch through and through. And actually, this number two on the show... I, I, ben Barnes is a lovely friend of mine. I, I, I think he's fantastic. But I've forgotten his, his name. Number two on the show. Uh, who's friends with John Bon Bernthal? Who's who's family? Who's, who's do you know what I'm talking about? He's great. I'm a huge Punisher fan, and it escapes me right now because oh the Punisher God, was my favorite too until I Luke Cage came when along. I, I fanboyed when I met him. He's, I think he's so great in that show. I think he's brilliant to watch. Excellent. And then we got a Jessica Jones down at the end. Yes. We're getting yeah, we're getting yeah. some nice Marvel. Oh yeah, Netflix I just look flavor. like her, so I feel yeah. like <laughs> Blair. Uh, I'm gonna go with X-Men animated series from the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> my own heart. Powerpuff Girls. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yes. Were they well, a that comic? Is such a good book. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> People forget that it was a comic book series and a comic book before it was a TV show. I love it before that. I didn't forget it. I never bubbles. knew that. Oh, okay. yeah, I am I a bubbles freak. Mm. Oh Steven here is a bubbles. He's a bubbler. I'm his little bubbles. I, I think that she, you know, she does the bubbles, right? So I've been calling her bubbles. I'm his little bubbles. Well, all the ones that you named. Daddy. We're on our list of best comic book TV shows. And I will say, awesome. um, there's one that you guys didn't name. You want to guess? Legion, baby! Oh, huh? no. Iron the Fist? top top spot. Daredevil. Iron the Defenders. C getting closer. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? We can give him, don't say the question the mark. We can, we can give you a Iron hint. Fist? Is it? Where was closest? Because you think uh, about X Men the animated series, it's an animated series that is number one at the top of the tomato. That's really cool. Don't tell me. Well, Archer's unbelievable, but it's definitely not a. 
Get there, Full get there. Batman cartoon? There it is. Oh. Oh. Batman the Animated Series oh, for 100 yeah. points. Yeah. Well done. Perfect. Well done. Well, done. well that's, that's, cool. that's all the time we have time for. That's you guys got to go you. rush off to Hall H so people can just like bask you with applause and fun <laughs> things and give We're you prizes them. and tell you guys how amazing you are. And everyone, please Quick. tune in to The Gifted September 25th <laughs> on Fox. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.